Love you, Charlie. I'm proud of you, Charlie. And here we go on to our next adventure. And my uh, my husband, my business partner, my friend, Charlie Morgan. Let me let me start with, with something that's very dear to my heart. It's Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart. Lean not unto thine own ways of understanding. In all ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. So the next time, I mean, you know, everybody knows I'm full of these little aphorisms all the time. I come up with them. And I use the term, luck is legal. I say that all the time. Now you know what I really mean. Okay? You know what I mean. You can read between the lines. Um, I want to recognize and give thanks to those who made Halei a, a reality. First and foremost, I want to uh, thank uh, Laura for allowing me the freedom to pursue my dreams. She lets me go. And that's so important to me because I know that a lot of uh, husbands uh, don't get that chance because there's chains around them. But Laura has always supported me. Um, thank you for reining me in, women. <laughs> thank you for reining me in when the checkbook is thin. That's very important. <laughs> okay? Um, and thank you for your prayers and endless support. Thank you for everything. I love you very, very much. I want to also uh, thank Dan Fawcett, my nephew back here, okay, for, uh, for, for being a great, a great sounding board. It's great to have a family member part of the business. I have never, Laura and I have never, ever taken on anybody as a partner. But we, we made a decision that uh, Dan was worthy of being a partner, and so he is he is involved, and we love him, and we love his family, Kate, and the kids, and it's just it's just wonderful. I want to thank the mayor, the phone, uh, Mayor Ted Gaskus, and, and Frank Genta, Kelly Ayer, and Representative Ro Romeo Dene for being here. Thank you so much, Mayor. And I wish you wouldn't kick me when I'm down so often, but <laughs> just trying to teach you how to get up, Charlie. <laughs> That's good. That was great. I want to thank the uh, the local banks for providing the funding. You know, without without money, nothing happens. I want to I want to recognize National Bank and, and, and Steve Bradbury and Frank Tees is not here. And, and Steve. I promise you, and I, and I hold to my promise, I will not be using the laces. Okay? Yeah. Provident Bank, Ray Lambert, uh, and Chuck Withy, thanks for doing, uh, doing what the regional banks wouldn't do, and that's loaning to small business. It means a lot. If you guys didn't come forward, we, we just we wouldn't be able to do this. And Bellwether Credit Union, Mike Ferreira, thank you very much, Mike, thank you, Mike. For, for, for your help. It was the three local community banks that were able to give us enough fuel to, to do all this, and so we're very grateful. And I want to recognize and thank the design and marketing team. Words can't des describe how I enjoyed working with you all, okay? Jay Allen Design provided the interior design and decorating. June, you are an absolute amazing person. I can't get over your meticulous, fastidious attention to detail. Okay, your phone number has moved up. Gotta be always gonna like this. You're up on the top 10 now, okay? Because her and I are gonna be doing a lot more together. She's a very bright girl in more ways than just designing. I have a high respect and regard for her opinion. And uh, you're a gifted woman and I thank you so much. I mean, she's the one that really kind of, uh, I mean, everybody participated, but she's the, the real granular person. And, uh, Sandpiper Artisans Graphic Design. Susan, you have spoiled me. There's Susan right here. You've spoiled me. I love everything that you do. You're a gifted woman. Thank you so much. And has optimization. Holly, you come, where's Holly? You come from another planet, okay? You did an incredible job creating the web and initiating our marketing campaigns. Everyone I speak with give you a 10. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, and the construction guys, I'm not sure who's here. I love working with the men, okay? And uh, I just love, that's my bailiwick. 
I love getting in the Bobcat. I love digging holes. That's what I like to do. Um, the electrical work was provided by Total Power and Electric, Mike Canigliaro and Steve Bolia, the owners. These guys understand electricity better than anyone. I've ne they never miss the beat, always on schedule. They do what they say they're going to do. Never wasted a minute. Thank you, Mike and Steve. The painting was done by a team known as Jerry and Tammy. Are they here? They are. Jerry and, Ta Jerry and Tammy, always accountable, doing what they say. Just look around, everyone. The proof is in the pudding. They did a fantastic job, this, this pair back here. Um, so please give the design and the construction team a big hand. Uh, all right, so I don't need this anymore. I guess everybody's wondering how I get into this business. And I'll, I'll try to make this short, I know, because we want to get in and eat. But four years ago, I was sitting in the Red Arrow, having breakfast, like 7.30 in the morning, reading the union leader, and I come across an article that said uh, that uh, a, a company that was going public, public, and they were doing tattoo removal. So I read this article, and my head went up and I looked, click, it just hit me. I looked to the left, I looked to the right, I looked at the cook, and I said, there's a business here, okay? And I thought about it, and I started gathering data. I went out to websites, and I, and I kept finding articles, and I kept convincing myself and convincing myself that this, this is a business that, that, that can really, you know, be a home run. And then uh, you sort of know the rest of the story. Laura, uh, Laura come across Caroline and uh, Carol, this back in February and, and we talked and we went back and forth and I listened to the radio day in and day out. Um, but uh, we ended up, uh, you know, hooking in with the, the, the design team and, and that we did all the construction and, and here we are. So. I am very, very pleased and happy. I'm looking forward to this business. I think it's a great business. I think people like to look good. I think the baby boomers are a huge target. And uh, the other thought, this is an industrial building, and um, this is really a entre entrepreneurial play because it's uh, in an industrial building, but I'm, I've got a, a commercial use here. But my, th my thinking was, and again, it's a gift from the Lord, that, that when it comes to medical aesthetics, it's personal. And people want to, they don't want to be coming out of Main Street or coming out of, uh, you know, a gym uh, in front of people if they just had Botox. So it just happened to be that there was office space in this building, and uh, I decided that this is where we should, uh, where we should do it, so I did it. And, uh, you know, everything, the whole confluence of events that, that's happened is just a, uh, it's just a gift. It's not me. So... <laughs> I guess that's all I got to say. I really appreciate everybody coming so much and appreciate your support. And, you know, we look forward to hopefully Bunchy's coming back. And that's it. Okay, we're going to cut the ribbon.